Good afternoon, I'm Ross from Coombsmouth Property Accountants and we're just going to look at a rental property that's advertised in Facebook. So this keeps coming up on my feed so I thought I might as well do a video off it. Look at what's the cash flow like, what's a few little problems and tips and things like that. Um, so we'll get right into it. Um, so yeah, definitely not saying you should buy this property or anything like that. We're just going through the numbers. This is just a property that keeps coming up on my feeds all the time. So it's a Dunedin property, 699,000, rental yields up to 5.25%. Um, so the first thing I'd look at if I was seriously looking at buying this property is I'd talk to two or three property managers in Dunedin and just ask what's the demand for a two bedroom in that area? What sort of rent am I likely to get? Am I likely to get over $700 a week? Um, yeah, is there a big demand for fully furnished? Is there some other options there that I could work with? That would be my first thing. And I'm sort of a bit dubious about whether it'd be over $700 or um, rent per week. That sounds a little bit high to me, but I'm not familiar with it in the market and not an expert there. Second thing, it's two bedrooms. Um, so chances are you're going to have at least a couple with two cars. Maybe you're going to get four people there and you've got a single car garaging. Um, so just something to think about. If there's four people, four cars, one garaging. Um, so, and yeah, and if there's several of them in this property, which there looks like there is going by the pictures, you might have quite a parking sort of problem. If there's 10 or 20 units like that, that can be a lot of people looking for a small number of car parks. Um, other thing with these, um, yeah, is it freehold, which is the standard thing that all developers are sort of promoting at the moment? Um, then most likely it's got a some sort of owners associations. Just make sure you allow for those costs. There'll be some shared driveways, shared gardens, some other costs. Um, I just about prefer a body corporate. It means it's the strict rules are followed. People will actually have to pay their share. Owners association mm, just depends, maybe not so quite so good. Freehold title sounds great, but maybe not that amazing long term. Um, they're going to get destructed. Uh, constructed in April 24. Um, obviously, just looking at things like that, if you're doing anything fixed price, make sure everything's included. Watch out what sort of escalation causes. Watch out, like, do you have an escape clause? If it takes three years to build, do you want to be able to get out? Or can the developer get out? Those are sort of some different things to look at. Next thing, we're going to have a look at the numbers. So, yeah, this is just the graph of property over the last 20 or more um, years. Um, it's almost 30 years now. Um, so generally the market goes flat, boom, flat, boom, gone stir crazy over COVID. Um, and you can see that green line is 6.3 percent and it seems to consistently come back to that. So following history we generally expect some sort of flat period then to slowly go up over time um, and that's what we're sort of all after in property. We are after that long-term picture. Generally you've got to stay in for sort of 10 years plus to, re to do really well in property. So this example is obviously a Dunedin, oops, I'll check my spelling. I'm a terrible speller. So it's a need a new build. We were saying that it was 699,000. Um, obviously there'd be some cost to buy, you might get a building inspection, you might get a valuation, you might set up a company and you might get some sort of contribution back from the bank, hopefully a bit higher than that. Um, I always work on 100% debt, so if you've got cash, fantastic, but you want to return on cash. So a good way to see how good the property is, is do it with 100% debt to start with, and otherwise you can hide the issues. We'll be nice and we'll say that this property would get 52 weeks rent because it's a new build. Obviously chatting to that property manager is going to help a little bit. They're saying 5.25%, which is 706 per week. Um, like I said, I'm just a bit dubious. I definitely want to talk to a few different um, property managers about that. 
We've got different expenses. Um, everything's going up. You're going to have some sort of body corporate or owners association. Insurance, maybe $1,500 a year. At the moment, we're 7.19%. Um, and that seems like it's just about going up a little bit at the moment. Really hard to tell. We've got property management, 8% plus GST. Rates, bit of a guess for me, maybe 2.5%. Repairs, it's a new build, so it should be pretty low. Um, we wouldn't expect too many repairs over those first 10 years, but there's still little things maybe some education maybe some, join your local property investor association and maybe just small travel maybe you come from Dunedin so this property we're looking at 36 37,000 in 61,000 out we're looking at losing 24,000 um first thing that comes to mind is probably ouch um that's bad cash flow we would then get value it to come in um the builders can give you a list of chattels, but often it's a really small list, whereas value, value will give you a really big list. Um, the carpets, the curtains, the dishwasher, the stove, the heat pump, the fences, the decks, the driveways, the paths, um, all the different chattels that we can depreciate, and generally saves you a lot of tax um, over its lifetime. It costs about $500, and it's the best trick or number one trick to save tax. So we're looking about $31,000 loss. Um, if this is our only rental, that loss is ring fence, so we can't offset against our personal income or our business income. So that loss will just accumulate year after year after year. And if this is our only property and we just keep it on interest only, you'll probably find you never use up those losses um, over maybe a 10 year period and you never pay any tax, but you also won't get any tax refund. Then we look at what will this look like over 10 years. Um, I don't have a crystal ball. Um, my basic guesses or assumptions, um, capital growth pretty low to start with, and then maybe boom towards the end of the 10 years. That just goes off that graph that I was talking about before. Flat period, then maybe going up. Um, Auckland might go a bit earlier, but most of New Zealand, like the last period, 2008, 2015, was basically dead flat. Somewhere like Hamilton, um, and also most other areas apart from Auckland, um, Hamilton only went up 30,000 over that seven year period. Rent normally goes up four or five percent a year. Inflation six percent at the moment, so hopefully five, four, three percent, hopefully long term. Interest rates, um, I just go off the Reserve Bank predictions. They're expecting a flat two years, then maybe to come down. Um, so yeah, I've gone a three year rate, which if you're lucky, you can still negotiate six point four nine percent because it's safe and secure and it's below the sort of estimate of those three um one year periods if you went one year by one year. So I've gone 6.49 for the next three years. So what that looks like, um, our last thing, it's a new build. So that means we can claim the interest for the next 20 years under current rules, which could change. Um, so we don't need to look at my right side, which is the interest limitation. So what we're looking at over the next 10 years, I've sort of skipped to the bottom. We're looking at losing 20,000, 19,000, 18,000 a year. So we've got a huge cash flow hole. If you've seen me do a similar video not long ago, um, almost 60,000 expected loss over that first three years. So to me, really really hard to make this rental work if you had a whole lot of cash potentially you could look at it but I'd wonder whether you could do something better um, if you were going to gamble on capital gains on this and put in almost 60,000 over the first three years and that's interest only no principal on that um, I'd probably look for better locations I'd wonder either could you buy some better cash flow properties could you do something better or if you really are going to gamble on capital gains is there a better location is there something Thing with higher population gains that might go up higher. Um, so I haven't looked at Dunedin's um, expected population growth over the moment, but it's not in one of the higher ones. It's not um, Auckland or Waikato that's meant to go, um, meant to go up really well. And yeah, so I would be worried if I was going to make a gamble on capital gain, maybe that's not the point. Maybe that's not the place to go. As interest rates, they're expected to come down based on Reserve Bank's predictions. So then the cash flow starts to go up and we start to make some money. Over 10 years, we're expected to lose 32,000 in cash. Um, so once you can get past that first sort of three years, it's then much more easy to hold it and much better. But you're basically gambling 33,000 of negative cash flow over 10 years, hoping it will go up maybe 400,000, being conservative with um, capital growth. So to me, 
just really, really average. I'm scared of that sixty thousand or sixty fifty six six seven four thousand dollar loss interest only for that first three years. So that would personally put me off that property. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, if you haven't, check out our link tree. Uh, I had a cool webinar last week. I'm um, just reviewing current deals. Went through a few different ones that might be useful, and a whole lot of other useful articles and information like this. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. And yeah, if you're wanting a free chat with me, um, right at the top of it, um, I'll just find that link tree and I'll share it in a second. Um, what you find right at the top of my link tree is there's a free chat with me. So if you do want to organize a free chat with me, um, have a chat about property, see what we can do to help you. Um, yeah, you can book a free chat with Ross. Um, and there's lots of other good information. Like I said, there's the old webinars. There's that review on current property deals that I did last week. Um, further down, a whole lot of good videos, some about the mathematics on interest rates, which is great. Um, just other things that might be useful for you. And yeah, some useful blogs as well. So hopefully you enjoy that. Hopefully you get something great from it. Thanks a lot. Bye.